Hello and welcome to the fifth chapter of our Eco Efficiency Story. My name is Inge van Opstal and I'm a part of the team at Kalmar collaborating closely with world leading suppliers on developing our electric reach decker. Today I would like to present you to Matthias Kielbasa from the Bosch Rexroth of Highway Electrification team. Matthias has been an important member of our project team. Welcome, Matthias, and thank you for joining me in the green chair today. Thank you, Inge. It's really a pleasure to join you today. Matthias, could you explain to our viewers what the role of your team was in this project? Good question. You know, I would say we had two roles at the same time. First of all, we were your solution partner in working out how to implement the best electric solution for your new reed stacker and heavy forklift program. And then we were supplying Kalma the core components for the solution. That means electric motors and gear nets for the drivetrain, electric motors and hydraulic pumps for the implements, as well as corresponding inverters. Thank you, Matthias. But tell us, have you done similar projects to this before? For sure, we are piloting with many customers across the industry. But when it is about the ports and terminals sector, Kalmar is our only customer. Why? Because you are a market leader. And as partnering with the market leader, we are confident to work with the right company. What learnings and experience were you able to bring to the table? So first of all, we are known for our deep application know-how. That means right in the beginning, Inge, when we were starting talking to each other, it was clear for me that when it is about our partnership, it is Karma relying on Rexroth that we exactly know and understand what you want to bring to the market. And then, as we are a major supplier in the factory automation segment too, we are also coming up with a very deep technology know-how when it is about electrics. Matthias, the knowledge both teams have shared has been invaluable. But from your perspective, what challenges did the team have to overcome? First of all, this technology, it is something completely new. It is not new to develop an electric motor, but it is something new for your industry and for your application. And it is highly different to what is required, for example, when we are speaking about electric cars or trucks. And in the end, I would say every time we solve the problem, we find some new ones. So the challenge is communication. And that is something what was running quite well when it is about our both teams. I totally agree with you, Matthias. Openness and transparency are key elements for success. Matthias, would you encourage other cargo handlers to go electric and become more eco-efficient? We are technology open as Bosch Rexroth. But at the same time, we are eager to support our customers to transform mobile machines. That's our mission statement. And in this context, electrification is a very important strategic pillar. And I would say every company has to contribute to reduce carbon emissions and to lower the impact of climate change. And Inge, I would say that's exactly what we are currently doing with our project. Yes, you are right. We all need to do our part to make an impact on climate change mitigation. Thank you for joining us today, Matthias. As always, it's been a pleasure. It's the opposite, Inge. I can't thank you enough because it was really exciting to be part of this project. So thank you, bye-bye, and see you soon. That's it for now. But make sure to watch out for the next chapter from the Kalmar Green Chair. Thank you for tuning in.